Hi, welcome to She Spice. Robin Williams passed away 10 years prior, however. From the vibe of things, his spirit won't find happiness in the hereafter, as Joe Rogan has placed him onto the max. Now, we will not be amazed at the event that he kept in his grave in light of the fact that the power of Joe Rogan's unrestrained and ridiculous analysis is insane, for setting Joe Rogan isn't the one to slight any left soul, yet it seems the bone he needed to pick with Robin Williams was too large. For one lifetime. Curiously, Joe Rogan's remarks on the late Robin Williams has created a firestorm isolating the web about whether the podcaster was on the right track to get down on Williams. One fan feels that the podcaster ought to have permitted dozing canines, while the other half contends that Joe's words were to act as a hindrance to different humorists anyway. Past the firestorm on the web, Rogan's Uncover is an eye-opener to the clouded side of the media outlet. It features the close-to-home, actual mental, and otherworldly battles of individuals who put a grin on our faces. So, what did Joe Rogan say regarding Robin Williams that has become the whole web upset, and how can it give us an understanding of the obscure side of the diversion and business? I have all the 411 here, so be prepared for some hot, delicious tattle. There was a savage kind of comic that would simply poach others' premises and kind of revamp them. A couple of days prior, podcaster and variety pundit Joe Rogan bludgeoned Robin Williams for taking his jokes. Rogan didn't cut the late comic entertainer any leeway as he went full Rambo, uncovering his supposed deceives and ascending to distinction. Joe Rogan was in a conversation with entertainer Harand Williams, who guaranteed he had heard that Ransack was into stealing the materials of different comics. Joe, who evidently had been a survivor of Robin Williams' appropriating ways, attacked the late comic. He affirmed the reports making sense of that he had additionally heard a portion of the tales being peddled around he made sense of that Robin generally wanted to have an unending cluster of jokes that he could simply break at whatever point the cameras were on him. This he accepted, made a void in his heart in light of the fact that no entertainer might actually have endless material. Now this made at void in heart, and he therefore needed to fill it with others' jokes, no doubt. And I think Robin Williams was so similar to a piece of that hyper kind of style. This is how things have been consistent. Need to have a piece about anything that you're discussing, at any point a piece of that hyper kind of style is this consistent need to have a piece about whatever that you're discussing. Ever Rogan said taking was more significant filling that opening within him was a higher priority than anything so high. He would simply do other stuff. Now it is one thing to discuss the withdrew. However, it is something else to reprimand their work also. Ascend to a claim particularly when they are not alive to protect themselves however. Joe didn't state it briefly, or obviously he was implying that Williams could. Never have ascended to distinction had he stuck to his unique jokes. Rather, he needed to utilize others' materials to remain applicable in the business. Anyway, the UFC variety observer didn't stop there too. Back his cases, he referenced some remarkable comic demonstrations whose material Robin Williams purportedly took one of which is Sam Kennison as per Joe Rogan Kennison was outraged with Robin Williams for utilizing his material. Without his express authorization, he made sense of that Robin. Supposed joke robbery was so widespread, he's probably going to say one irregular joke from another humorist whenever he speaks Sam Kennison lashed out at him and guaranteed Rogan that in the event that you recall, you asked any from those comics from back, there's generally examples of Robin going on a syndicated program and doing your digit now on the off chance that you think those were the remainder of Rogan's words. Then at that point, you have something else coming. The seasoned podcaster contrasted Williams with an off others vampire blood and for this situation, sweat to support his life material burglary is something odd that individuals do where they attempt to pawn off others pieces as their own. Then he dropped the bomb, it's a vampire thing since you're around this large number of imaginative individuals and you're simply taking a smidgen from this fellow and a tad from that person. A few fans felt that Rogan's words were an over-the-top discourtesy for a man who battled with substance of and liquor his whole grown-up life. They felt that this was how things had been that made the comic entertainer take his own life in 2014. Consequently, Rogan should have been vigilant in his selection of words they contended that creativity particularly. In parody, is subtle in light of the fact that there's just the same old thing. Most jokes have been retold so often, with slight changes, and likely with various characters, so Rogan ought to chill with the reactions.
expecting it was even a fact that the comic demonstration took from his kindred jokesters. Who did it hurt, they asked. They think that entertainers have been blaming each other for taking jokes, as far back as they can recollect so Rogan ought to pass on Robin's spirit to find happiness in the hereafter anyway. Rogan's allies came to his safeguard, making sense of that stealing another comic difficult work resembles removing food from his table, particularly without appropriately recognizing the source. E. Joe's fans contended that getting down on Robin Williams was the most effective way to alert different humorists that they wouldn't pull off taking jokes in this life or the following. They lauded the UFC pundit for his grit in considering a spade a spade, without appending feelings. The fans energized different humorists who felt their works had been stolen to follow Rogan's model in shooting the culprits. Obviously, Robin Williams isn't around to shield himself against such cases, but on the off chance that you have around a few groups blaming a similar individual for a similar wrongdoing, then there may be a trace of validity in the gossip. Recall a long time ago, at the point when humorist Joey Kamen likewise got down on Williams for taking jokes from different entertainers. Let me revive your memory during his chance on imprint, Marin's WTF web recording in 2022. Joey Kamen asserted that Robin Williams stole different jokesters' materials and took care of them when they were gripped by him. He kept away from Williams at all costs in light of his benefits for counterfeiting his jokes. He related one such occurrence in which the Moore and Mindy star replicated one of his brand name jokes and involved it in the hit TV sitcom. I avoided the person who said Kamen used to take material. He took my material. He took one of my pieces and did it on the Moore and Mindy pilot, and I got truly pissed. Kamen defied Robin Williams about the occurrence just for the comic entertainer to give him some cash and excuse him with another joke. I faced Williams, and he gave me a check for $1,300 and told me don't cash it till Tuesday. I was truly effing furious at the fellow Kamen, then uncovered the key to why Williams took others' jokes, and trust me, it is stunning most definitely he made sense of that Williams just counterfeited the materials of individuals he realized he could pull off he took the jokes of presumably small-time entertainers who hadn't raised a ruckus around town yet and were battling to endure the thick horde of comic debt. Demonstrations in the industry. I'm not actual. I'm not a major person. No, it was the reality he took from a many individuals came and went on however. The thing was he just took from individuals that he could move it away from you, didn't have any idea him taking from George Carlin he proceed with. It was individuals, nobody knew or individuals, who required cash certain individuals could pay their lease just from him taking joke. However the situation is, he take your joke do it on the this evening set. How? And you do your joke and individuals thought you took from Robin Williams? The most terrible thing you can do to an entertainer is take their material at this point before you rush off to look through George Carlin on the web. Well, here's a short history. He is perhaps one of the most compelling humorists and social pundits ever, and presumably the most the most awesome humorist ever, which implies he merits a fortune. So, per Joey Kamen's words, Williams couldn't take from such a person, not really in light of the fact that he dreaded legitimate consequences, but rather due to the height of Carlin. Carlin was a sharp pundit with a silver tongue that could broil the living damnation out of anybody. His monstrous and steadfast fan base implied that any individual who got deliberately targeted had gotten through relentless savaging. Williams, who seemed by all accounts to be a hot mess, wouldn't have the option to endure that sort of tension. So why take Carlin's jokes and bring damnation upon yourself when there are other similarly great jokes from unheard of entertainers who he could simply pay off with a couple hundred? As indicated by Cayman, Robin Williams was utilizing his leverage to swindle forthcoming comics to develop his image. He couldn't have cared less on the off chance that what he heard his casualty or not all he thought often about was his self-centered interests and his image. So perhaps Joe Rogan is right in hammering Robin Williams after all, in light of the fact that the person was presumably a cheat. His ascent to notoriety was clearly filled with robbery, deceiving, cunning, and lying. Currently, here is a win to the entire adventure which could put some of Robin Williams' safeguards to disgrace, as per reports. Robin Williams has never denied taking anybody's joke, which, surprisingly, is honorable. I mean, we know a couple of humorists who have straight denied taking jokes, notwithstanding glaring proof, which will come to later in the video. 
Robin Williams has consistently pinned his robbery on nervousness and the strain to perform. He apparently guarantees that at whatever point he plays out his cerebrum, it zooms in and out at an unbelievable speed, making it hard to differentiate between his material and that of different humorists. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.